Welcome again for another session. In this session, we're going to be reading Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. And we're going to be talking about the parable of the persistent widow. We can learn a lot from this. Let's start in verse 1. He, speaking of Jesus, also spoke a parable to them that they must always pray and not give up, saying, There was a judge in a certain city who didn't fear God and didn't respect man. A widow was in that city. Now, let me just stop here for a second. Usually people who, do, who don't fear God also are people who don't really respect others the way they should be. People who don't have the fear of God, which I'm telling you right now is 99.99% of the people, because they don't fear, fear God, they don't respect man as they should either. Just a little tidbit there. Let's go on. Verse 3. A widow was in that city. She often came to him, often came to him, saying, Defend me from my adversary. My adversary being the one who's against me, my enemy. He wouldn't for a while. But after, afterward, he said to himself, oh, uh, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will defend her, or else she will wear me out by her continual coming. The Lord said, Listen to what, that, what, what the unrighteous judge says. Won't God avenge his chosen ones? who are crying out to him day and night, and yet he exercises patience with them? I tell you that he will, av he will avenge them quickly. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Wow, what a packed passage this is. So we have a man here, a judge, now, not every person that's in authority is godly at all, okay? Just because they have a, they're in the office of authority doesn't mean that they're a godly person. You know, Romans chapter 13 talks about how the office of authority and different authorities are of God. Well, yes, the office of the authority is, the authority itself is, but not the person uh, you know, particularly the person. The person can be an evil person in, you know, in a place of authority. Uh, and so this is what we have here. We have a judge that is a, an unrighteous judge, a very ungodly, uh, wicked, evil judge. Doesn't fear God, doesn't respect man. And yet because the widow comes to him and bothers him, he doesn't he doesn't do it, obviously, because he fears God, because he doesn't. And he doesn't do it because he respects her, because he doesn't. He does it because he doesn't want to be bothered anymore by this widow. So Jesus is saying, if this is how this judge um, gives justice to the widow because of her persistence, how much more would God give justice to those who, get, who come to him? God being a just judge, okay? So in our prayers, we need to remember never to give up, never to give up our in our praying. Always press in, always come before God, even if that means to keep on asking God, keep on asking God. Because persistence pays off. There's an old saying, you know, persistence pays off. And that is the case here. So we need to always remember to keep praying. Keep on praying. Never give up. There's, there's hope. Always hope. Unless, you know, of course, uh, it goes against the will or the, uh, the word of God in some way. God, you know, just says no. Um, but otherwise, we should be persistent. Now, it's very interesting that the Lord ends us off uh, by saying, you know, that, uh, that God will avenge those who ask for him to avenge them uh, quickly. But it says, nevertheless, will the Son of Man, when the Son of Man comes, 
Will he find faith on the earth? Will he find faith? Very good question. And I would say, for the most part, the answer is, personally, what I believe, the, uh, the answer is, for the most part, no. Uh, he will find a lot of fake religion, a lot of hypocrisy. Will he find real, true faith? Rarely he will. Rarely he will. I'm sure there will be, uh, you know, there will be the remnant that's left, but it won't be very common at all. Okay, very, very uncommon. So there you have it. There is the reading uh, from Luke chapter 18. Uh, don't miss the next reading. And also, don't forget to look back into the other teachings that we've done. We've covered a lot of ground here and a lot of good things to learn, a lot of good uh, you know, exhortation and a lot of good building upon your own faith, talking about faith, building upon your faith, building upon the foundation of faith that you have in your life. So uh, may God bless you and open the eyes of your understanding and give you great revelation as you call out to him. Remember, he will show you great and mighty things. Thanks again.